Okay, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I am stood in a really awkward position today because uh, this is the best place I could get some light, so I'm kind of on my knees. So I'm going to try and do this pretty quickly because otherwise my legs are going to go dead and I, I won't be able to walk. So um, I did just want to do a quick video because I missed the cosy night read, cosy night in reading thing that Lauren and the books did, uh, I think it was about two weeks ago, completely missed it, watched all the videos that everyone else did, so I thought I'd just do like a little solo one myself, I have two days off work now, so I thought today I'll do a video just what I might be reading, um, all the things that everyone else has really done in their sort of pre cosy night reading in video, um, so they've said about what they're going to read what they're going to wear, what they're going to eat, that kind of thing. So I thought um, I will do that today and then I will spend three hours on um, on tomorrow night, Wednesday, just having a read and doing what everyone else did two weeks ago. So first thing that I'm going to be reading is I'm going to try and finish off the girls. Um, I've been going through it pretty quick so I'm about three quarters of the way through. It's really good. I'm really enjoying it. It's not a very um, fast paced story but it's so beautifully written um, but I am really really enjoying it and I really hope that Emma Klein writes more novels soon because I really enjoy it. I know she's um, written quite a lot of short stories so I'm quite interested to um, see what else she brings out. Um, I'm, I'm imagining because she's like the new um, it girl in the literary world that she's going to bring out something pretty soon so be interesting to see what happens but um, because this is about the Manson murders I know that there's going to be some murders coming up soon and nothing like that has happened yet so I'm quite excited to see what happens in that like last 25% so that should be good. Um, I've also got my short stories uh, Highly Inappropriate Tales for Young People that's the other one that I think I'm going to try and finish tomorrow night um, I'm still a bit confused about the whole book because I don't know what age group it is aimed at. I think it's aimed at probably people who are about 14 or 15, but then again I don't know because some of it seems a bit adult, so I'm not quite sure, but it's, some of it's made me laugh. Um, but as I say, I, I only really got it because I don't really read short stories and I wanted to branch out a little bit because I see everyone on Booktube reading short story collections and I think some of them, well most of them, are much more serious than this and probably aimed at a much more intellectual audience but I thought why not start with something a bit more fun so um, my next story that I'm reading is Cindy the Terrible Role Model um, but they're all, and I, there was one that I did enjoy um, Hans the Weird, ex the Weird Exchange Student it, it was bizarre he kind of stole rubbish and then went and fed crows the rubbish that he'd got from the bin. I don't, it was really weird. But it was, I, you know, I like things that are quirky, so that one was good. So um, I probably will also do a bit of writing in my three hours as well, because I do write as well as read. Um, and I am writing a novel at the moment. Um, it's a bit of... It's, it is fiction but it's also a bit autobiographical. Um, I did a bit of travelling around South Africa when I was in my early 20s and just wanted to write a bit about that so um, it does veer off from the truth. Um, but I'm at 26,000 words at the moment so I was thinking if I could do two hours reading and an hour writing I might hopefully get to 30,000 words by tomorrow evening so that's kind of the goal. Um, while I am doing the cosy reading night in, I will be mostly uh, having cup of soups. Love a good cup of soup. This one is the uh, Mediterranean tomato and red pepper. It's really nice. Um, I will also be drinking lots of schlur because I can't drink wine or anything while I'm reading because then I forget what I've read. So. Um, this makes me feel like I'm drinking wine. Um, I do put it in a wine glass as well and I feel really sophisticated even though I'm just drinking juice. So 
Fleur is always good. Um, I'm sure I'll burn candles like everyone else does. I did have a Yankee candle, but I forgot to bring it through to um, hold it up for you. But I have got a nice Yankee candle. Um, and I never ever burn candles because it feels really girly and that's not really my style, but I feel like it would be um, very atmospheric. So I might do that. Um, and then, oh, I will probably be wearing my pajamas. So I just have my pajama bottoms and my, oh, that's inside out. I've got this, this is really cute. I don't even tweet, so I don't even really know why I got it, but it says eat, sleep, tweet, repeat. <laughs> it's pretty cute, um, but it's really nice and comfortable. And uh, my favorite thing, because I am a swimmer as well as a runner and writer and reader. Um, but for my birthday last year, my parents got me a, a mermaid tail. So you kind of get into it like a blanket and then I can be all wrapped up um, and have my tail on. So I'm gonna sit and read in my mermaid tail. Um, but that's everything that I'm gonna have around me for three hours tomorrow night. But I will do like a little vlog. So I'll put that up tomorrow or probably Thursday um, when I've gone through it. But yeah. Uh, I don't expect anyone to do this with me because I'm only doing it because I missed the actual one two weeks ago. But uh, it should be fun and uh, I'm quite looking forward to doing uh, a vlog which will be a little bit different to what I normally do. But thanks, yeah. So I will let you know how it goes. Bye.